The RX300 is provisioned by the administrator. The settings can be modified remotely from vSpace console or the RX300 itself. In the General tab, the administrator can select the Thin Client mode to lock down users in the Windows OS or Raspbian mode to allow access to the Linux-based Raspbian OS, turning the RX300 into a Raspberry Pi 3 device. This is also where you can configure your Verde gateway connection if you are using the RX300 for a Verde VDI HTML5 client connection. To log back into your virtual session, simply double click the icon switch to thin client mode and press yes to reboot the device back to the home screen. The administrator may also password protect the device so anytime a user wants to access the RX300 settings, he or she would have to enter this password. Under the Connections tab, there are two options here. Option 1 lets users select a server to connect with. Show Auto Detect Servers shows the connected servers within the LAN, while Allow Manual vSpace Server Connections allows the user to manually enter the IP address of the vSpace server. Option 2, Connect Automatically, allows administrators to set a default vSpace server that the RX300 automatically connects to during boot up. Server groups help with load balancing, allowing administrators to increase the capacity of concurrent users and reliability of applications. In case accessing one particular vSpace server fails, the RX300 will automatically switch to the next vSpace server in line. Kiosk mode enables administrators to set up auto login credentials to a particular vSpace server's user account. Just set up the username and password, which must match the user accounts created from your Windows host machine. With application auto start, after the user logs into the vSpace server, this selected application will automatically open. The administrator can select the folder through vSpace console or manually enter the file directory from the RX300 device. In the display tab, the administrator sets the current display. Automatic is selected by default and will auto detect the resolution. This can also be manually set by the administrator. By default, the audio output settings priority is USB, Bluetooth, HDMI, and analog. These choices can be moved up or down by the administrator. So if USB is placed above HDMI and a headphone is connected to the USB port, then the sound would come from the headphones. Similarly, if the analog is placed below the HDMI, then the sound would come from the HDMI monitor, even when a headphone is connected to the audio jack. For audio input priority, if a user is making a recording, the default settings are USB and Bluetooth. The administrator always has provisioning rights to turn off the audio input and output. The network settings can be used to configure network connectivity. This can be done via Ethernet or Wi-Fi, which will detect all local area SSIDs. In the support settings, the administrator has three options to install firmware updates. If your vSpace server is in the same network as the RX300 device, then use LAN. If not, then use FTP as the firmware must be uploaded to the FTP server in the cloud and you'll have to physically enter the complete URL. The last option is by specifying a specific vSpace server's IP address and the location of its folder it's receiving the firmware update from. And press update when you're ready to update the firmware. The About tab gives device-related information in case users have support questions. You'll be asked for the serial number, which can be found here. You'll notice this information cannot be changed.